Hello, hello, my abundance creators. It is Empress Cheryl here to talk about, about, about <laughs> blessings. Okay, so there are blessings on the way. There are always blessings on the way. Sometimes they get held up, but they always come through. So what we are going to talk about is what blessings are on their way to you. What blessings are on their way to you? So it's a pick a pal. Um, if you have not chosen a pal based on the cover photo, then I will hold up the crystals um, to allow you to pick a pal based on the crystals. Or um, you can pick a pal based on the Oracle deck. So I'll just um, hold up both. So um, for let's just kind of get straight into it. So for pal one, you have this clear quartz crystal here. Or the Astral Realms um, Crystal Oracle deck. So either the Clear Quartz Crystal, if that's what's calling out to you. Or the Astral Realms Oracle deck. For Pile 2, you have the Citrine Crystal. Citrine here. Or the uh, Animal Spirit Guides Oracle deck. Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Deck or the Citrine Crystal. Okay, and then for Pile 3, you have the Lapis Lazuli Crystal. Lapis Lazuli. Or the Moonology Oracle Deck. Okay, Lapis Lazuli or Moonology. All right. Okay. So let's just kind of get into it. Um, so, oh, so let me just say this. There are already um, four Oracle cards for each pile already um, selected, already pre-shuffled and selected. Um, I do have an uh, tarot deck with me that I will use as um, clarifiers for this message. Okay. So let's get started with pile one. Okay, so PAL 1. PAL 1, you chose the Clear Quartz Crystal or the Astral Realms Oracle Deck. Okay, so let's get started and let's see what you have here. What blessings are on the way for PAL 1? I want to um, invite my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and the Holy Spirit in here to give us a clear message on the blessings that are coming in for you. Okay, we have Cognizance, Mercury, Emerald, um, it's the crystal. So pretty much with these cards, and it's number 28. So um, I'm going to say the message that's at the bottom, but pretty much with these cards, um, with these Astral Realms cards, they will give you either a planet or a chakra or something like that and so you may need to if you have your um birth chart and it gives you a planet you may need to look into your planet for um you know looking to see what that planet um is over in your birth chart so this one right here is talking about mercury and uh it says cognizance so cognizance um so I feel like you're going to be made aware of something like or either you're going to be told something since Mercury is talking about communication. So maybe you're going to be told some type of new knowledge. There is a uh, rainbow in the background of this picture. If that means anything uh, to you. So maybe it's going to be some good news that's coming in that you kind of been expecting. With this eye here, it gives me the feel of like a third eye. Um, so maybe you know that this communication is coming in. Um, so you're kind of expecting it and it's going to be like, you know, some happy um, ten of cups type situation, which is what I think of when I uh, see the rainbow. So it's coming in. That So you're right to, you know, think that. But it's going to be, looks like... Um, communication in regards to something that you already know um is going to be coming in to you so that's a blessing for you uh we have number 23 adaptability air element 
and lace agate is the crystal for this one so air element and adaptability is pretty much saying like um you know going with the flow or it could be an air sign it could be an air sign that's coming to bring this communication to you um 23 breaks down into a five so some type of change so this could be um you know a blessing come in is like a big change for you that may be requiring you to be flexible um and adaptable there's some staircases here so maybe you stepping into you know a whole different um maybe you're stepping into some new path um you know but it's pretty much this is saying you know a blessing that's coming in is some type of communication um that may require you to you know kind of switch up or be a little adaptable uh we have number 21 here boundaries uh south node and labrador right so hmm a blessing that's coming in with this with the um south note so i get the thought of like protection and 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 learning lessons so maybe the blessing here is that you know how to set up boundaries now like you 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 know maybe this um let me just go with this story of this communication coming in from some type of air sign that you know how to now set boundaries and not not go back to operating in your south node because essentially your south node is where you already been like what you're most comfortable in and so you're trying to move out like everybody's goal should be journeying to their north node which is what you are supposed to be seeking to do in this lifetime what you're trying to fulfill in this lifetime so maybe this is just kind of um getting you to acknowledge that maybe now you um can recognize your bound the blessings that are coming in is that now you're able to recognize your boundaries you're able to point out when when there is a lesson that you've already learned when something is is trying to get you to um operate in a past version of yourself um and then we have number one transcendence crown chakra moonstone okay so the blessing that's coming in is is pretty much like um it looks like some elevation and so you know i honestly what i'm getting is like the blessing that coming in like when you learn this lesson or when you and i don't want to say like you know learn the lesson but the blessing is that you have learned this lesson, that you have learned this lesson, that you no longer are operating in your um, south node and you are tra transcending. You're transcending and with your crown chakra activated. So, so like, you know, maybe it's a crown chakra activation type thing that you're receiving as well, that you are feeling whole you are feeling elevated you are feeling like you are on your divine path um and you're on the path that you need to be on so may so maybe it's calling for you to be flexible and adaptable and to step into this um step into step step into this journey like step into this path like no longer hold you no longer hold yourself back um, you know, so maybe this don't have anything to do with anybody else. Maybe it's just like you kind of talking to yourself or getting this download yourself that like, yes, I am this, you know, I am this person. I no longer operate in this energy here. I am transcending. Um, and this is who I am. So maybe that's the blessing that's coming. Like either somebody's going to tell you that or maybe you are going to learn that um yourself but whatever it is it is is going to be recognition like you are going to be made aware um in some form that it, things are changing for you or have changed and you are no longer um who you used to be so um yeah, that seemed pretty clear, but we can uh, just pull, get a few cards to come out just to get a little more.
clarification. Spirit, please clarify. Give us just a few cards to kind of like clarify this message. Clarification, please, Spirit, on the blessings that are coming in for Power One. Blessings for Power One. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Recognition. Like trusting that you are this person. You have reached this level of success. This level of victory. Like you've passed this test. Maybe you've passed all the tests. Um, but you're, you're here. You're that person. You are it. Okay, so I don't even need to pull any more power one because that's pretty clear. So power one, beautiful reading. Uh, thank you for coming with the energy. All right. Put this back in. Let's go to pal two. Pal two. If you chose the citrine stone or the uh, animal spirit guides oracle deck, then this is your reading. Pal 2 citrine or animal spirit guides oracle deck. This is your reading for what blessings are on the way to you. What blessings are on the way to you. Uh, Pal 2, I ask that my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and the Holy Spirit come and give us a clear and powerful message on what blessings are coming in for pile two okay so we have uh kiwi do a walking meditation each day for the next week okay so maybe you're gonna um be able to get into a space of um meditation maybe you're going to be doing you know more walking getting physically fit so that's some blessings coming in and maybe you're going to do that just so you can get some clarity on something um so let's see <clears throat> octopus practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms Okay, so maybe you're going to be like, so what I kind of want to say with this is maybe like a fitness thing. Maybe you've been trying to um, lose weight and work out or something like that. And and so maybe you're going to start to notice some changes and you're going to be, you know, excited about it. Maybe you're going to start slimming up or whatever. Um, another thing is um, just maybe you're going to be able to get dolled up, have the experience of, you know, maybe having a makeover or something like that. Um, and maybe that's the blessing that's coming in for you. Okay, we have growls. Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. Okay, so maybe you're going out to um party or you're gonna have the ability to have more fun. Um it's saying express yourself through rhythm and, and movement. So you're going to be, um, you know, going out, having more fun. Um, and so maybe this is what this, you know, physical appearance, altering your physical appearance. Maybe you're getting dressed up, you know, blessings. Maybe there's some big party or some big event or something like that, that you're going to be um, invited to, that you're going to have the opportunity to get dressed up really nicely and, you know, kind of dance and, you know, show off and do your thing. Um, so yeah. And then this last one is the cat. It says it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others. Um, so that blessing coming in is just you being embracing your independence, embracing your independence, embracing being in your own being in your energy and not relying on anyone else. So it looks like the blessing that's coming in is you are going to be more, I would say, at peace with this meditation um, coming through. So you will be more at peace um, like with yourself, like, you know, mentally, emotionally, um, 
you will be satisfied with yourself physically, with your physical appearance, you know, like adjusting. Um, you'll be able to, you know, go out, hang out, um, and by yourself, like you won't have to depend on someone else, or maybe you won't be waiting on someone else to, you know, invite you somewhere. And you're just kind of like going to be accepting of being in your own energy and going to do whatever you get the, um, urge and desire to do it's kind of like you're you're switching up like the the mindset that i'm getting for this is like a transformation you know for you so it's like a transformation on the rise so maybe if you were someone who were codependent then the transformation for you is you're stepping into your independence um if you were someone who you know um like i said earlier was, was struggling with your um physical appearance in any way whether it's you know shape whether it's you know looks um you know however it um comes across then that's something that you know it looks like you're is going to be changing um and you are going to be p happy pleased excited you know just in good energy um and at peace you be meditating, dancing, and just um, enjoying yourself. So that is beautiful, pal, too. Let's see if some more messages want to come through to clarify. Spirit, please clarify the blessings that are coming through. Blessings that are on their way for pal, too. What blessings? What blessings are on their way for pal, too? Blessings are on their way for power to breathe spirit. Okay, so we have the high priestess here. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like either you already know this or you're already being given this information or spirit just don't really want to say let's see let's see if we can get one more so maybe you already know um are expecting you know something because the high priest is like you know has um hidden knowledge um or maybe this is something where you know i've given you enough already and you don't need any more okay so um yeah two of cups so maybe this is some type of love or partnership um that is coming Hmm. But we have this, you, it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. So maybe once you do all of that, um, this, some other partnership is going to come in, but it's pretty much saying like, you know, kind of do this first, step into your own power, love yourself per first, or this could be, this two of cups could be you pretty much just coming into union with your higher self like this doesn't have to be you know another person this could be just you know you partnering up with spirit partnering up with with you know your higher self um especially with this high priestess being here like that's what i'm getting with both of these cards together um it's just you enjoying your own presence now as you or someone that's just like you someone that's very similar to you so let's let's give both of those options but um because you know it'll be different for um every person but this could definitely be like you know you meeting someone that is just like you you know both of y'all may be in your high priestess energy or you're just you know already have knowledge of the transformation that is coming about in your life and um being satisfied and pleased in your own energy in your own presence and connecting getting closer with your higher self okay so those are the blessings that's coming through for you either way it's beautiful um <laughs> so either way it's beautiful so all right pal two that was your message Okay, pal three, if you chose the Lapis Lazuli Stone or the Moonology Oracle deck, 
uh, pile three, lapis lazuli or monology. Let's get into your reading and see what blessings are on the way to you. What blessings are on the way to you. Um, and I just want to invite my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and the Holy Spirit into this reading to give us um, clarity on the uh, blessings that are headed your way. Ooh, um, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity lies ahead. So, okay. Um, abundance, <laughs> abundance creators, pile three, prosperity lies ahead. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, new moon in Taurus, that's earth. So it could be, you know, in terms of money, but like I say, you know, when, when we talk about abundance here on this channel, it's not just talking about financially, but look, let's, maybe it's all of it. Um, meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So, um, you're going to have the, maybe it's something that you're going to have to, you're going to get in a space where you're really going to have to sit and be still, um, and, and consider something, but it is a blessing. I wonder what that is. A uh, new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. Okay, so this is talking about um, like self-care routines, looking after yourself, taking care of yourself um, and, and, and giving uh, to you. Um, and then the last card is Full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so the the message that I'm getting with this, um, especially with this last two cards with a time to give rather than take and don't let pride get in your way. Maybe someone is coming in to help you um, do something. So... With this, don't let pride get in your way. It's maybe like, don't think that you have to do everything on your own, that that there isn't anyone that can help you because it looks like it's time for you to kind of take care of yourself, focus on yourself. So maybe you're doing um, a little too much and maybe someone chooses Pile 3 like all the time because I uh, another reading kind of had a similar message to this for Pile 3. But it looks like, if someone comes in, maybe somebody's going to come in and offer to help you. Um, and this may, you know, help you, it may be to help you in business with this prosperity lies ahead. Like this, someone is essentially spirit is allowing someone to come in and assist you, but you may want to take some time and kind of like sit on it and contemplate and determine whether or not, you know, this person uh, can actually be helpful or whether or not you actually need the help or, or whatever. But essentially it's like spirit is saying, don't let your ego get in the way because you need to take care of yourself. Like you do need help. You don't need to overextend yourself with all of the things that, that you have going on. So the the biggest message that I'm getting is somebody is coming in to help you with an opportunity that will definitely lead to um, prosperity. And it is okay. And maybe it's more than one person with this meditate and contemplate. Um, but I believe spirit is pretty much saying the blessing is that they are sending someone and spirit will allow you to sit on it and think, you know, you won't have to make a rushed decision but um, spirit is pretty much saying like, you know, allow us to help along this path. Like there are helpers. There are people that, you know, are right and, you know, righteous and, and, and on, on your team. Uh, so let's just kind of get, um, pull some cards to clarify this message. What? blessings are coming in for pile three spirit what blessings are coming in for pal for pal three oh okay so the nine of pentacles which is talking about um you know a 
abundance things coming to fruition everything all the work that you've put in like actually um coming to be like you starting to see profits and benefits of it you know with all of the pentacles there you starting to see the work um come about um with this nine of pentacles here what blessings are coming in what blessings are coming in please clarify what blessings pal three okay all right and the star card so this is like healing energy um maybe someone is coming to heal you maybe someone is coming to give you some type of spotlight um you know to to show you that you are a star um but you know this is beautiful essentially like it looks like you're no longer going to have to do things all on your own like you're coming to get assistance or you're coming to you know be recognized and be helped and maybe like heal that aspect of you that felt like you had to do things all by yourself okay so those are the blessings that's coming in for you, pal three. Um, I hope this message resonated with you. Um, see you next time.